With Canada's news ban on Facebook and Google, there's so many stories that just aren't getting out into the public mainstream consciousness. And there's a big one that happened today that I want you to be aware of. So many of you are struggling with the, I, I, I'm not even gonna say rising cost of living, just complete unaffordability, the, the soul crushing unaffordability of housing in Canada. And there's a story that happened today that I want you to be aware of. The links in the video description i've written a, an article for you because i know that there's a lot of news bans happening click on that click subscribe so i can directly communicate with you on these issues in the future because of news bans but let me lay out for you what happened so the liberals as opposed to having any sort of empathy for the housing crisis and again this is this should this is something that should you know really get to the heart of anybody of any political stripe in canada rather than having any empathy for what's going on in Canada with the unaffordability crisis, one of Justin Trudeau's new ministers put out a press release talking about a program that the government has to save money for a starter home. Now, in theory, that's a great thing. But in the press release, the government used an example of a hypothetical couple in which they expected this couple who made between about $100,000 and $150,000 a year combined to save $16,000 after tax income every year for five years to put a down payment on, and it's right in the press release. I'm not making this up. Click on the link in the video description. This is completely legitimate. To put a down payment on a, wait for it, $900,000 starter home. So like when I saw this, this absolutely blew my mind because I don't know about you. I don't know many people who can a save $16,000 a year of after tax income between credit cards, student debt, car payments, food, rent. So they want liberals want two hypothetical people to save $16,000 a year to do this and then pick up the tab on a $900,000 mortgage. So I did the, the math on this. Again, the link's in the video description. Please click on that. Please click subscribe because as you know, there is a news ban. I'm trying to break all this stuff down for you so that when you're not seeing it in the mainstream media or on Facebook, at least I'm giving you this information. I did the math on that. And so even if somehow this hypothetical couple managed to save $16,000 per year of after-tax income for five years on top of all of their other living expenses in out-of-control cost-of-living Canada, they would be trading that for an approximately $5,400 a month mortgage. I, like, okay, so why, why, this isn't like a joke. This, 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 this press release isn't a mistake. It would have gone through multiple layers of scrutiny in the government. This is important because it shows the fact that the Liberal government is completely out to lunch on understanding what is affordable or possible or real in Canada. The fact that they think that a $900,000 starter home is, is, is normal is, and that's what they're basing their policy around, is, is incredible. And again, I'm not making any of this up. You can see for yourself. I've got the receipts. The link is in the video description. I want you to share that article with friends because it's so important to see that the federal government, not only do they not have a plan to address the housing crisis in Canada, but they don't even understand what their role is to fix it. In fact, by saying, you know, that it's up to Canadians to save $16,000 a year of after-tax income somehow to put a down payment on a $900,000 starter home, that, that means that their entire thinking of the problem is, is, is I don't know, it's, it's in some sort of let them eat cake bananas territory. You guys, I'm gonna make this, I have to make this appeal every time I do a Facebook Live, every time I do a video to you guys. The Liberal government, their censorship bill, Bill C-18, if you go to any Canadian news site, if you're in Canada right now on Facebook, you can't see the news because of the Liberals' censorship bill. I need to be able to tell you about things like this press release. It's not getting any coverage on the mainstream media. I need you to click subscribe on the link that's in the video feed so you, I can give you the breakdown of all of these issues. I can talk to you and, you know, 
as a member of parliament, that's job number one for me right now in this environment is making the public aware of these things that are happening so that we can push back as a country on the liberal government's thinking. It's crazy. So in the video description, please click subscribe. It is free. And please share that article with people so that they see what's happening. Have a read through it. Share it with somebody who might not necessarily even vote or feel the same way as you. What is happening in Ottawa and how the government is thinking about this is crazy. If somebody who, if they expect a couple who is making in the neighborhood a combined income of $150,000 uh, and they can't afford like a home, who, who can in Canada? And the fact that like this press release is just so bonkers. I've like, I've seen a lot in my time in office, but like this, this was different. And it's important that Canadians see this, even with these news bans. And how do we fight back? by exploiting loopholes like the one I've got in the video feed here. You can click subscribe, you can click share on that article. That's how Canada's got to fight back, um, given the fact that the Liberal government has imposed these censorship bills and all this craziness on us. So I'm working hard to help you fight back. Read that article, please, please, I'm writing to you so you know what's going on. Read it, click subscribe, share, working hard for you. Have a great day.